Well, howdy and God bless. Today, I want to share the cool memory of an unexpected encounter down in the Florida Keys, and I called it Trace. There they were. One's eyes like sparkling stars shining bright. One's smile like horizons new before my sight. Both making the night a thing so right. Both making desires might an internal fight. And though now gone out of sight, but close in mind, how warm and kind they were. A welcome sign to lay and close my eyes. They both by my side like wings, like wings to brave new heights. Heights where once again with pen and pad to write these words, these words like pearls to map one's state of mind. These words, a sign, a sign that says, let not, let not this be last time. Your hand, once more to touch your hair, once more to brush your eyes, once more to search while perched. Once more, we side by side, where then your sighs from deep inside I find. Where then your thoughtful mind unveiled, where then our hearts and souls like fertile fields and wait, wait, and wait, my words. My words like seeds well placed where then new hopes and dreams to taste, to taste a pulsing race where then chased a we and wild embrace. A we among the clouds then graced with all that might, all that could, all that should be traced. Bingo! I hope you think, I hope, I hope you read between the lines on that one. But neither here nor there, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube video collection. Do feel free to visit and share your spoken words on my uh, Facebook timeline. Do check out my monthly community column on empowerment within the Buffalo Latino Village. And feel free to comment or discuss any of those articles at my blog, To Be Spoken, blogspot.com. That's the number two, the letter B, spoken, dot blogspot.com. And if you're interested in my books, Three Drops in a Pot, and consumed but destined to prevail, check out my website, joep4.com. That's J O E P, like Peter Y, number four.com. And until next time, as I said, God bless.